This program is supported by H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. Their full-service model offers oil delivery, propane, motor fuels, with design, installation, service, and maintenance of all types of oil, gas, and alternative energy systems, as well as air conditioning, water conditioning systems, and backup generators. Their highly trained and friendly staff will assist you throughout the process of buying, installing, and servicing a full line of energy products. H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel, coming to you from the Lake Sunapee Protective Association right here in Sunapee Harbor. They're open 9 to 5 every day, Monday through Friday, so come on in and say hi to them. Check out all the wonderful things they have. And I'm now joined by the Executive Director, Elizabeth Harper. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Abby. We are talking specifically about this big year for LSPA because you are celebrating 125 years, which is incredible. It is. We yeah. are so excited to be celebrating this year, and we've already had a whole bunch of really fun events. You and have. We've had some great audiences and uh, really some spectacular events that we'd love to uh, have people come to more of our events. We have a lot more going on this summer. Yeah, and it's such a great time. I mean, people always say once Fourth, once fourth of July hits, it's like off and running. It's summertime, and you have to hurry up and enjoy it. And you're really going to take July and August as times to to soak in everything you know Sunnyvale Harbor has to offer. And, and New Hampshire. Uh, hopefully weather is on your side yes. too. Tell us about some of the things you have coming up in July and August to help celebrate. Yeah, well we'll have an encore performance from um, Peter Block's incredible photography yes. and Dave Anderson's um, just really inspiring words and that was one of our kickoff events um, this year and it was so well attended. It was really inspiring so we've decided to do an encore presentation. Love that. With that. Yes, so good. anyone who missed that the first time around can uh, can join us for the And good for all ages. Version. Yes, and absolutely and it's a really yeah great for families and yeah. great for kids too. Good to notice. And then coming up here, uh, you have the annual meeting in a few weeks, uh, July 15th, which happens every year, um, but but uh, a great way for members to come. Talk about that. Yeah, it is. So, you know, we hope to see a lot of people at our annual meeting. Sure. It'll be a time where we'll be talking about the future and our plans and kind of our vision for our next 125 years, yes. we hope. Yes. Um, and then we'll have a celebration afterwards. We'll have a cocktail reception that members are invited to. So all members of received invitations. If you're not a member yet, there's yeah. still time. Go Good. ahead and okay. uh, head to our website, <laughs> become a member, and join us um, for that celebration. Fantastic. And people should go to your website to learn about being a member at LSPA. It's very important. Yeah. yeah. So our website has information about all of these events that we're talking about today. Uh, also information on how to become a member, ways that you can volunteer and get engaged in the organization. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. And then coming up twice in July and um, September. Oh, and August, too. So July, August, and September, you're headed yeah, out on the boat. Going on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we do have some great opportunities for people to, to get on the boat, to go out and learn about the natural history of the lake, to learn a little bit about the lighthouses. Also, we have a lighthouse program coming up. Fabulous. Um, so yeah, a lot of great opportunities for people to, uh, to get engaged with the work that we're doing and um, see the lake. Yeah, and I think uh, the boat with the lighthouses is a lot of local people's like happy place. I mean, we yeah. love being on the lake, and then people love to point out, if you've been out of town, you're like, this is one of the three lighthouses yeah. on our lake. So this is a great way to kind yeah. of go and observe it, and what a great venue to do so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. Uh, we also have a science panel that will be moderated by Laura Kanoy. So a lot of the work that we do uh, here at LSPA is based on science that's done by researchers who come in from all over the world and we'll have a panel discussion with those researchers about the science that's been done and sort of what we see as the future for Lake Sunapee. You know, really what it's about is being part of the community that is working towards the goals that we have here of really maintaining the water quality um, sure. of our lake, which we know is, is so important, not just for recreation, um, just but for the economy in our region. Yeah. I think we all recognize its, its importance. And so when members donate, um, that's what funds our operating budget. That's what allows us to do the work that we do testing water quality, keeping an eye on what's going on in the lake, educating people about what they can do to be good stewards of our resources. Sure. So it's it's pretty important, but it's also just part of being a part of what we do. Yeah. Fantastic. And staying in the know. What is the hope for the next 125 years? I mean, obviously you're going to talk about it at the annual meeting coming 
coming up. Yeah. But, um, you know, this is something that is so important to our area. We have to protect our watershed. So LSPA Absolutely. is crucial in that. Yeah. And, you know, and our vision is that we have a lake and an environment, surrounding environment that remains vibrant, you know, that is still the core of our local economy and remains, you know, clean and uh, where we have an environment that's preserved sure. in ways that really foster everything that we love um, about this environment. And we also have a vision that we will engage the entire community, you know, that we'll have everyone that will be a part of that work. Um, and so there's a lot of new ideas that we have and new uh, approaches that we're using to really engage a really broad audience in that. So what are some ways people can get involved in LSPA? So we have a lot of volunteers that are engaged in many different aspects of our work. Um, we have lake hosts, people who are yes. inspecting boats to make sure that we don't have invasive species coming into our lake. Sure. Um, and who will do weed watching to make sure that we don't have invasives that are, um, that are on the shores. There are a lot of different ways that people can get involved in some of our science work also, collecting oh. water samples, um, monitoring cyanobacteria levels. So there are a whole host of ways. We also have education committee and a bunch of different committees that people can get involved in. So all that information is on our website. Great. Um, so I would encourage people to go to our website, check out the opportunities to get engaged, and also to sign up for our newsletter. Yes. We have a monthly e-newsletter that um, it talks about all the work that we're doing, all of our upcoming events, and ways that people can get engaged. So um, I would encourage people to sign up for that. Fantastic. I know for a fact that uh, volunteers are important because my dad is a loon watcher oh, uh, on his lake. Yes, so and I shouldn't have forgotten that. Yes, so we're always quick to be like, Dad, yeah. there's a loon watcher. Yeah. So very important. So head to your website for all this information. Yes, Fabulous. That's great. It's fantastic. Your work is so crucial to protecting us because we have to make sure that our waterways, my drinking water, living in Sunapee, uh, stay safe and is here for the next 125 years as well as LSPA too. But uh, we have to make sure that our water stays clean and healthy for everybody. So thank you for the work that you do. Thank you so much. Ed. Thank you for hosting too. Thank you. I'd like to note that YCN will be recording the Bright Future for Lake Centipede panel at Colby Sawyer, and it will be played on NCTV 8 and available on demand at YCNnow.com. When we return, Putnam Kidder will have a tasty invitation for us. Let's hear now from one of the folks that underwrites your Yankee Chronicle. These local businesses can only continue if you support those that support us.